So what's going on toxic gamers today we got the full easter egg guide for liberty balls or i should say liberty falls for black ops 6 zombies and apparently a lot of people are now apparently liking this map a lot of people are liking this map i'm seeing this map actually grow a lot of people like the video if you love your mama like the video if you love god and let me know if you like this map or not and we're gonna get into this one here and we're gonna check it out if it's good or if it's trash <laughs> we're gonna do this live here shout out to the homie mr dalek jd roll it it's a complete guide to completing the Liberty Falls Easter egg and Black Ops 6 zombies. This Easter egg can be completed in solo or co-op. If you found okay. this guide useful, then be sure to let me know. First things yeah, first, like in your game, was? you want to open up the map to make your way to the church to access the Pack-A-Punch machine. Once you're in there, you want to interact with this machine, which will despawn all the zombies and start the first steps of the Easter egg with a ghostly character called Panos. Once okay. he has finished his dialogue, you want to interact with the same machine again, where Panos will mention that he's now patched into your signal. Once that dialogue is finished, we can move on to building the jet gun which is the first main steps of this easter egg in order to right. do so you're going to make your way to hill street and by this flower shop you'll be able to interact with this water valve to pick it up from here you're going to make your way into the bowling alley and melee this panel on the wall to reveal a set of valves where you can place that water valve once placed so get the water wall place it here and this is step one to get the jet gun and yes this map was supposed to be a transit remaster uh remake uh, that's why we got a lot of similarities right and later on they turned it into this map. You'll then have a prompt to hold to turn the water valve with a status bar on the top left of your screen, where by holding down your interact button, you're going to make progress on this water pressure. Now, the aim with this is to fill the water pressure gauge all the way to 100. But whilst you are doing this, there are going to be an infinite spawn of zombies. So whether you're Got doing it. this in solo or in co-op, the easiest way to do this is to hold this valve for as long as you can and then train the zombies out of the bowling alley and then run back to continue progress. Thankfully, your progress does save, but it doesn't save for very <laughs> Yeah, thankfully, man. Thankfully, it saves, though. Thankfully, man. This is like one of those things with Call of Duty, bro. Long. So in the case of Solo, it will take quite a few attempts of training the zombies out of the bowling alley to then run back in to then hold this valve to continue adding pressure as the zombies are going to respawn. Take mm. your time with this, and okay. as long as you don't have too many breaks in between, you should be able to continuously add progress to this. Once it's fully completed, the zombies will despawn, and you'll now see that a water pressure gauge has popped yeah, out from the wall. One, you want yeah, to yeah. pick that up as that is one of the jet gun pieces. The second jet gun piece, you want to make your way over to the cemetery. As the next step requires you to take down a very specific zombie that spawns in the cemetery, but it is completely random when it spawns. The zombie yeah. you're looking for is a groundskeeper, which looks very different to all the other zombies and will be marked and named. And when taken down, it will drop a tool shed key. It's a gold item on the ground, so pick that up. You'll get yeah, another quote from one. the character Blank progressing you through the story and then you want to make your way to hill street which is just to the right of the cemetery in the groundskeeper yard you'll then be able to interact with this shed opening the door and having a handbrake part for the jet gun there waiting for you Got and for it. the third and final jet gun part you need to acquire a mangler cannon support streak you can get this either by crafting it at the crafting table for 1250 well, salvage right? or from round 10 onwards when you get your first mangler spawn if you yeah yeah, yeah i had that so you you need three parts okay so this this is gonna be i guess you're you can naturally get it after round 10 so this is just step number one bruh i hope this easter egg is not like blood of the dead kind of stupid though you know what i mean right shoot the arm cannon of the mangler it should drop the arm cannon as a support streak item once you have the mangler cannon make your way to riverside and opposite ollie's comics is going to be an electrical yep. store called the radio house bring out your mangler cannon and charge a shot at the gates and it should oh, reveal shit. a brand new opening for you to go inside inside this store there is going to be a bunch of piles on the floor and you'll need to interact with one of four piles to reveal the electrical wires part. Now you've got all three jet gun parts, make your way back to the motor lodge in the spawn room and go up to the second floor, where as you run along the side here, you'll notice a bunch of zombies will yeah. barge out of the doorway, revealing a secret room. And inside of here... Oh, I ran around all of these areas, but without actually thinking about the Easter egg in mind. It is a workbench where you can craft the jet gun with all three of those buildable parts. Now that you've got the jet gun, Jeez. the next part of the Easter egg is to get three items that you can only get yo that that looks uh lit though right and i feel like that they uh, from what i'm hearing that they made the jet gun actually better than what it was all the way back in the original black ops 2 zombies transit all the way back in 
2012 because yeah you would make that wonder weapon and it would break so fast it was very ineffective but what i'm hearing is that it's actually very good in this one so with the jet gun these can be obtained in any order but the first location i'll show you is in ollie's comics where in the middle of the room on the ceiling there will be a part that you'll be able to suck up with the jet gun by using the right trigger the okay. second part can be obtained in Washington Avenue by Speed Cola, and this is going to be in a really tucked away window. So in order to access this, you need to get onto the rooftop here, jump over onto the white van, then look over. And in the open window underneath the zip wire, you want to use the jet gun and it should bring out another part from that window. The third and final part is inside the dark ether, directly above the banister to the left. And once you've gotten all three parts, you'll get a... So we need to make the jet gun first and there are three parts to get the jet gun okay mangler will leave probably the last part after around 10 or you can craft it and then you need to suck three things with the with the jet gun got it okay got quote it. where that's enough parts for the ltg and you'll need to bring it to a workbench use it wire okay. from the cemetery over to the alamo and to the back left of the rooftop will be a workbench where you can specifically craft the ltg once you've LTG, picked it up okay at first i thought that it was like assembling the lgbt device you know what i'm saying <laughs> i thought that was uh, that's what it meant though okay all right so it's kind of straightforward so far i love that it's not super complicated so you gotta obtain the jet gun interact with the machine in the church and now we're obtaining the ltg device okay so that's the step that we're on right now up we are now going to be moving on to the next step which involves two of the dark ether storms on the map you can choose to do these in any particular order but we're going to start with the lightning storm in the cemetery interact with the bottom of the lightning storm and it will place the ltg device down and start a one minute countdown where you need to protect the portal integrity whilst a bunch of zombies are going to spawn any right. zombies that make any contact with that portal will damage the portal integrity and if you let it get too low then you're going to fail and you're going to have to go to the next round before you can attempt this again once the portal reaches zero it is going to spawn in a high value target which is a special version of an elite zombie where in this location it's going to be a very powerful mangler the idea mm. with this step is that you're going to want to weaken this boss but not completely kill it and you'll know when the special zombie is weak enough because it will start emitting a purple smoke once it's emitting a purple smoke you need to go inside of the dark ether and pick up one of these ether canisters that's inside this device whilst you have this canister on you you won't be able to sprint i definitely advise doing this entire step at the very end of the round where you have one zombie left once the elite zombie boss is weak enough in order to complete this step successfully you're gonna have to take the zombie over to one of these dark ether traps that is oh, just yeah, in yeah. front of speed cola but you want to okay. place down this canister on top of the trap so once it's activated the elite zombie is going to run onto the trap and slowly take damage from the trap and you'll see that the hvt will get taken down and its soul will be sucked into the canister Canister. Once Got it's it. safe, pick up the canister and you'll have 1 minute 30 to take that canister back into the dark ether and place it on the device. Once it's placed in, you can then move on to the next step. Wait. All right, so first of all, jet gun, all right, interact with the machine in the church, obtain the LTG device, and now we have captured the first HVT with the ether canister and now we're on the step five all right Let's if you go back up to this container new compartment would have opened on the left side of it with it where if you go back up to this container new compartment would have opened on the left side of it with a new tactical called a strauss counter once you've picked it up step, run yeah. out the dark ether and hold your l1 where you'll see a color displayed on this counter as well as a signal that should get stronger the closer you get to this projector right here on the hilltop stairs the way that oh, this shit. step works is that you have the counter out and go towards a projector as shown here and you'll have to interact with the projector to match the color that's displayed on your strauss counter so in this example the color of the strauss counter is yellow so i need to match the projector's color to match yellow it might be a different color for you in your game so if it is just match it up to what you see here and if you're on this step in co-op everyone will have a individual counter which will match to only one projector so i've turned mine yellow and now we can move on to the second projector and to get this you want to make your way on top of the roof of the bank and then up here open up this debris right here and then drop down where you'll notice there'll be another projector pull out your mm. strauss counter and match the color to what's shown on the display for that projector and the third and final one can be found just above washington avenue in the groundskeeper yard and you'll want to match it again here for me this displayed a green icon but then there was also a shade of red and that's because for this particular counter it is inverse so if it shows green you actually need to have red once all 
three projectors have been done successfully, you'll get a quote in game and you'll notice purple beams. So a lot of things are in three steps, right? Jet gun, three parts. Then you got to suck three parts with the jet gun and then like the HVT device and then you got the LTG device and then now you're doing the HVT stuff. So three parts, three parts. All right, so far not super complicated and we're already like 70 percent of the way through in terms of the easter egg yeah because in blood of the dead bro you need to watch like two hour guides uh, you need to be a scientist in order to configure that and even then it's like you know it, it's super complicated and i, I don't even want to bother uh, attempting those easter eggs at all so this one i would say in comparison so far uh based off of what i'm seeing the length uh, seeing the length of the video yeah 70 percent of the way through in bad in bad okay let's see this is inverse so if it shows green you actually need to have red once all three projectors have been done successfully you'll get a quote in game and you'll notice purple beams of light coming from all three projectors make your way back to the first ltg that you completed which in my game was the church and pick up the ltg you'll then want to make your way to this dark place evil lightning okay. in riverside and place the ltg down where you'll then have to do another one minute defend for the portal to spawn another another HVT. This time round is going to spawn an abomination. So again, you want to get the abomination extremely weak to the point where he is emitting purple smoke. Once Got you have it. that, you then Got want it. to pick up the canister that is going to be at the back of spawn here on this device. And you want to place it down on one of the dark ether field traps again. I place mine down right here. And once the HVT is weak enough, activate the trap and lead the HVT over towards the canister. If done correctly, the HVT soul will go into the canister and you will have completed that step. And now all you hmm. need to do is take the canister all the way all you need to do bro yo say psych right now this is the easter egg of course there's more to it and we're gonna have i'm assuming like he's gonna give us like the best setup and all that for the boss fight i guess we're getting in the boss fight right now right that's it bro okay i would say like the easter egg so far not super com complicated solo friendly i guess you need to be good at the game for sure but solo friendly and uh, the steps aren't too many. I feel like that there are only eight. Okay, eight steps, right? So prepare for the final encounter. I guess now we're on the activating activating part. And then we're doing like the main quest. And we're going to get the, the rewards and all that, right? I would I would say like the intro cutscene for this map was just banging though. It was amazing. Uh, but I've seen like the final cutscene and uh, it ain't that, it ain't that good, man. It ain't that good. The Easter egg, the Easter egg seems good. The Easter egg seems, uh, seems quite chill though. So. Way back to the church where again, you have one minute 30 to bring it back and place it inside that machine in the dark ether. At this point- Okay, so now we got to go back into the church. We have one minute and 30 seconds and we got to go back into the church and place it. So we've done a set of three canisters right okay so a lot of these steps are in three mostly all of them are in three but you are now ready to activate the quote-unquote boss fight of this map but i definitely recommend at this point making sure that you have all of the perks that you feel are necessary as yeah, well as yeah, at yeah. least having pack a punch level two the jet gun is definitely worth bringing in as well that you got for free earlier in this easter egg it'll be really useful for taking out a bunch of say psych right now bro like i paid 70 dollars for this game it ain't free damn it it ain't free bro you suckers paid 70 dollars and if you pay 70 dollars for the game it ain't free it ain't free of the zombies don't be afraid to also craft some score streaks like the mutant injection as for this boss fight you will be enclosed within the dark ether church itself and you won't be able to leave make sure you have all the necessary gobble gums as well that you want to bring in and when ready go up to the machine and there'll be a prompt to activate the sdg start the final encounter rather than a typical boss fight this is actually going to be three waves of increasingly difficult there zombies and three, elite three, zombies three, yeah. and depending on how many players you have in your game depends on how many elite zombie types you're gonna have the basics of this is it's broken down into three different waves the first is gonna be nothing but oh wait for it this is just a youtube bug here where it shows this early there we, we wait for it there's a lot more but normal zombies as well as a lot of manglers and upon completion you'll be given a full armor drop for the second wave you're gonna get increasing hordes of zombies that are extremely quick as well as an elite mangler and the easiest way to do this is to simply train either clockwise or anti-clockwise constantly taking out the zombies and focusing your fire on that elite zombie that spawned in during this you will be gaining points from the zombies so if you have 
have spare points to pack a punch, it is definitely advised to use that pack a punch machine as it will obviously make this encounter a lot easier. But once you've taken out that elite zombie and the remaining zombies, you will then have a max ammo spawn. And for the third and final encounter, you're going to have normal zombies, vermin, as well as an elite mangala and an elite abomination. If you're running hmm. it solo like me, this is the best time to use your mutant injection as it makes this an absolute breeze. Once Got completed, it. everyone in the game will go down and you will get the ending cutscene. And you will have just beaten the Liberty Falls Easter egg. Once you Liberty Balls though. Finish the cutscene, there'll be a prompt to continue playing honestly bro when that guy jumps down it looked like that that was the breaking bad right the oh, heisenberg it felt like that that was heisenberg Bruh. just jumping down but guys check out this video on the screen this is the 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 recently this what happened and activision came out and they confirmed the news for black ops 6 absolutely wild story check this video out and i'll see you right there